So in this video, we're going to talk about making interactions, opening doors and turning lights on, but all from the one blueprint, the master blueprint. So let me just quickly throw some stuff in just so you guys can see. We are just duplicating a whole bunch of stuff. Play. There we go. Let's just open a whole bunch of doors. Boop, 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 boop. Oop, too far away from that one. Boop. Light off. Light off. This is the kind of stuff we would be doing in this video. And this is stuff that you can take into your game and kind of build that whole interaction system, you know, touching doors, turning on lights as I've shown. But then we can go through like a little bit further into picking stuff up, so on and so forth. But that main interaction blueprint is there for you. Now, I'm going to be trying to make a game from start to finish as well by the end of the year and as well as all the animational stuff. So if you want to come along the journey, come with me. Let's get into the video. No, that way. So in this video, we're just going to be looking at the mechanics of interacting with stuff. Obviously, we've got nothing to interact with, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is come down to the content draw. Let's click on the root file, and I'm just going to create a new folder called Blueprints. From here, I'm going to open this one up. Right click. I'm going to create a new Blueprint class, new actor, and we'll call this one Master Interact. Okay. From here, I'm going to double click and open it up. Let's come into the event graph. I'm just going to delete all that because we don't need it. Let's right click and we're going to type in custom event. And I'm going to call this one interact with object. Beautiful. So we've got our custom event. Let's now compile. Let's save that. And that's all we're going to do for now. So let's close that one. And then from here, I want to go into the first person blueprint. Now this obviously works with third person, so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just using the first person blueprints. Let's go into blueprints, first person character. Now I'm just going to scroll to the top here and we're going to put all our jazz up here. Now I want something to happen when I press the E key. But obviously at the moment, the E key does squat. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to edit, project settings, scroll down to under engine into input. Let's go into the action mapping and I'm going to create a new action. And this one is called interact. The key will be E. So I'm just going to press E and let's scroll down to keyboard E. Beautiful. So now in a free, free space, let's go right click interact. Here's our action event interact. We can do press when released, so on and so forth. So from here, what I'm going to do is I want to click and drag that out and I want to go cast to master interact bam to there and then from here what i want to happen is to run that custom event so let's click and drag off that interact with object and that's the one we want master inter interact okay fairly straightforward however we need a little bit more information in here so let's go ahead and create a variable and we'll call this object looking at beautiful from here we're going to change it from a boolean to an actor and let's go into the actor type and we're going to go into object reference uh, let's go now compile that's fine we're going to get that error but as soon as we go get object looking at pluck that in there compile obviously this doesn't really do much for us however let's go on to the next bit so from here i'm going to right click and press event tick so on every frame it's going to be ticking along we want to create a line trace. So click off that line trace by channel. There we go. And then we've got this monstrosity. So what we need to do is kind of get the forward vector from the camera. So let's start off with a get actor location. There we go. And this will be our start. But what actor are we going to be looking at? Let's go right click, get player camera manager so we're looking from the camera there we go obviously in third person this might be a little bit different because you might have to go from the mesh of the character but because we're in first person we'll just do it like this next thing we need to do is click and click off the camera manager and go get forward vector there we go and then we've got to do a little bit of maths so I'm going to create a variable and this will determine how far forward we're going to be looking so let's click a new variable and this is uh, distance forward looking and we're going to change that to a float 
let's go compile let's set it to maybe 200 and then i'm going to bring that there get from here i'm going to click and drag that off i'm just going to press the multiply lovely click and drag onto there from here we got to get the forward vector 200 units forward but also the start location so from here i'm going to click off there plus add let's get those two in there and then this will be our end result lovely jubblies now we've got to start doing a little bit more we need to work out what it's hitting so let's click off that one and i'm gonna go break hit results and let's just expand that puppy there uh, from here let's expand up the top there and go branch and we want to see we want to do a true and false at what it's looking at and then up here if the object that it's looking at is not part of the master interact or children then this bit isn't going to flow because this is where it's going to break so for now i'm going to go return value true from here let's go object looking at we're going to set put that in there hit actor goes into there and we need to do a false set and so if it's not looking at anything it's going to clear what it was looking at if that makes sense so let's go compile we shouldn't have any errors that should be all good let's down minimize this one come back into the content drawer come back into our blueprints and from here we do not touch the master what i will be doing is right click create child from blueprint class and this will be interact underscore box fairly straightforward quite clever uh, actually we might just put bp in front of it as well so since this is our box i'm just going to add add cube there we go and so we have a cube here let's go into the event graph and we can clear all that so let's now right click and do interact with object there we go so that's now our event and just for now i'm just going to add in a print string and just type in you touched me and compile and close so from here let's just click and drag that into our world let's press play and if we come over to our box and we press e you touched me it's telling me you touched me but that's cool like big whoop about that but if i want to have maybe a different object because i can just throw in as many as i want now and they're all the same but if i now go back into our master and we go create a child and this one can be bp underscore ball interact underscore ball double click on that puppy add sphere there we go back into the event graph right click interact with object print string i am a ball you jerk <laughs> compile put that down let's bring this back in and obviously we can go to town on whatever let's come into range i'm a ball you jerk you touched me i'm a ball you touched me ball touched <laughs> and there we go so from here your imagination can go wild you can create doors buttons da -da 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 -da. if you want me to go through all that hit the subscribe button if you want more stuff like this let me know because we're gonna make a game this is the whole point we're gonna make a game